Yeah, it's Tommy Marquez, and I'm back answering more comments on the Duty 214 video that was posted up and had about 500 comments on it. Somebody asked, hey, Tommy, how is it possible that you were separated from the Navy with only 10 days notice? That sounds very suspect. Well, let me tell you, kids, long before the IDS system started in the 2000s, the military used to work on this horrible program with the DOD Disability Rating System. And it was a horrible program. And if a medical doctor in the DOD said that you were not worldwide assignable, you had only a short list of options for you, and one of them was that you had 10 days to be separated administratively from the military with an honorable discharge, but you were still at set. And they called it a medical condition non-disability. Well, after Congress looked at how horrible this was and that ver uh, veterans were being separated, some of them amputees and getting a 10% rating through the DOD system and not getting a military retirement and waiting to get all their VA stuff done, they came out with a program, thus IDES, and the Pueblo officer became, you know, created. And it really benefited so many service members because it allowed uh, a real transition process to occur, and it also allowed for the VA to take a look at your potential ratings and then to use the VA rating system, which is a lot more generous than the DOD rating system was. Those are the kind of things that I like to work on when I was in Congress to improve those programs so that veterans who are transitioning or being separated, especially due to an injury, were receiving better treatment before they got out, more resources, and had their VA service-connected disability all lined up before they separated so they knew what they were getting into, unlike myself. Now, keep in mind, I don't consider myself a victim. The things that I suffered through and the things that I experienced, I took it on and I overcame those things. And I worked in Congress to improve that for other veterans so that experience wouldn't be as horrible for them as it was for me. I hope I've made some grounds, although looking at the DD-214 is not being issued now in some of the comments, maybe I didn't make enough of an effort and I needed to do more work to improve the quality of transition processes for our soon-to-be-separating service members.